If you're new to video editing, you might be getting confused with all of the different codecs and file types that you can be using to export your videos. Like, what even is that? While there's tons of different settings that you can use for a bunch of different scenarios, I'm gonna show you two different codecs that you can use like 99% of the time. One is a high compression codec and the other is a low compression codec. Our first codec, our high compression one, is H.264. Now this is really good for most final deliverables. It's also really good for posting to web or social media, if it's going to a non-tech savvy client who just needs something that works, or if you're just looking for a small file size. In Resolve, you can go to the H.264 master preset, then change the container to an MP4. Now by default, Resolve uses a pretty high bit rate of 80,000 kilobits per second. This is the data rate of the file and determines both the quality and how large the end file is. If the number is bigger, your video will be higher quality but larger in file size. So I often use the restrict bitrate option to bring it down to 20,000 kilobits. If you're really looking to keep the file size small, I would say you could lower this all the way to 6,000, but any lower than that and you'll start to notice that the video gets kind of janky. If I had to guess, H.264 files are probably the most common export setting that everyone uses. They're really small and they're compatible basically everywhere. For instances where you need a high quality, low compression codec, I would use ProRes. And I would use this for a few different things. First, if we want a super high quality master file that we can transcode to different formats later. Second, if we're rendering some motion graphics or VFX and we want to maintain as much image quality and color data as possible for when we bring it back into our main edit. Another bonus is that ProRes edits extremely smoothly. In Resolve's render settings, just go over to the ProRes master preset. Now there's several different types of ProRes. If you're working with 10-bit footage, we can stick with ProRes 422 HQ. If your content is in 8-bit, we can go with regular ProRes 422 to save some data. Now here's one other note about DaVinci Resolve. If you work on Windows, ProRes won't be available to you because it's an Apple-developed codec. Instead, you can use Avid's DNxHR formats. There's a 10-bit format with the HQX 10-bit option, or you can use HQ for 8-bit. ProRes has a set data rate, so you don't need to make any adjustments to the bit rate or anything like that. But you should know that you're gonna end up with a really large file. If your video is a couple minutes long, you could be looking at several gigabytes by the end. H.264 and ProRes are both super easy to use, so I hope that this video made the process of exporting a little bit simpler for you. And if it did, maybe you should get subscribed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.